Today I'm colour blocking Andy Warhol style. Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I've got some fun new release stamps from Catherine Puller. Thank you very much. I had a blast making this card. It's uh, kind of like a retro style card. I have the Let the Good Times Roll stamp set. There's some skates and some really fun fonts and sentiments. And this paper's from the Totally Rad um, paper set that has really bright fun colours. And this is what inspired me to do my colour blocking today. I don't know if you've ever made any cards with colour blocking but it's a real powerful tool when when you're making a card design and if you just feel like going bright and being out there it's extremely fun to colour block in bright colours. <laughs> so the colours that I'm using today are some Catherine Poolers and I'm using the blending brushes on some Bristol Smooth cardstock. I've got Tiki Torch, Party Dress, Lime Ricky and Fiesta Blue. Well, it's kind of Fiesta Blue. <laughs> what I did as I started well, with the It's a Boy and it just wasn't blue enough for me. So I had to come back in and make it just a little bit brighter. So that's the good thing about these blending brushes is that they're very forgiving. You can actually mix different colours together. But I wanted just solid cardstock today. See, I'm looking. It's not bright enough. So out comes the Fiesta Blue. And I'm using the same brush for all the colours. I'm simply just um, scrubbing it on a scrap piece of paper or paper towel, if you can get any, um, to clean it off in between my colours so they don't actually contaminate the panels because I want them to be solid colours. I did stamp out four because I'm doing four squares. It's real Andy Warhol style here. Four bright, bold squares. And I stamped out four of the skates and I'm just fussy cutting them. They do come with, you can get coordinating dies for these, but I didn't want the edges to be seen. I wanted them to be cut right up to the edge. So I decided to bite the bullet and fussy cut. It did take me a while, so I only showed you a little bit of it here. Now, colour blocking you can also do it doesn't have to be symmetrical. You can actually do it in rectangles, circles. You can do whatever shapes that you want. It really is forgiving. And you can also color block with neutrals or patterns if you want. But today I was going solid and bold. I die cut each of the colours with the Essentials square set. I just chose the square that fitted the roller skates perfectly and cut all four different colours. And because these squares cut out a really small border, I thought it would be fun to mix and match those borders to the squares on my card. So I'm going to piece all the card together now. I have added some ATG adhesive to a piece of scrap white cardstock and I can just drop the outline edges of the square plus the centers into place and just um, I just tried to keep as little as the white space in the back showing I didn't want to be able to see that in behind I did think about doing a black border and that did look good as well but in the end after much debate <laughs> the white one it's going to be quite a big card this one and the finished size of the card base was actually five and a half inches squared so it is a big card but it will fit in a six inch envelope or you could make your own envelope or just give it as a, a card <laughs> without an envelope. All right so to get rid of the tackiness of the tape before I cut out the edge of this I just use the powder tool and then I'm using some nice long straight sharp scissors to cut the edges away and one other trick that I do if I fussy cut and it's got a white core on the paper I come in with a marker from the back of the die cut and just run a grey marker around the edge of that. Don't use your Copics because they bleed into the cardstock. I've also got a sentiment from the same stamp set and I just added some bright fun matching colours with the Copics and cut that down. 
Now I do have to adhere all my skates on board and I did when I stamped them I made sure that they were facing all different ways on the rainbow stripes so that they weren't uh, exactly even I wanted it to be sort of because you know how those Andy Warhol pictures they're all a bit skew <laughs> so I thought this added to the skew and then I added some ATG behind this to attach it to the front of my card and popped up my sentiment on some black cardstock I do love how Catherine Puller mixes and matches everything like all the inks are perfectly matched to the cardstock and they're so bright and fun I love her party collection I think the absolute best the other thing that I did use on this card was some sequins there's a, a set that's called Paisley Park sequin mix and they were perfect I added one to each of my boots So like I said, this is part of a hop and we're all celebrating with this fun new release from Catherine Pooler at Alan Hudson. So don't hesitate to head to my blog, the link will be in the description below. And if you did like this video, it'd be awesome if you could click on the thumbs up button because that lets YouTube know that you did like it. And if you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.